Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in Snoozehall Manor and Gardens, now owned by the National Trust, but at one time owned by the eccentric collector Charles Paget Wade. If you've seen my other video of Snoozehall, you'll know what a beautiful village it is. And this manor house is absolutely exceptional. I'll talk to you about it inside. I'll show you what I can. I'll show you the gardens. So let's explore this amazing Cotswold Manor House and Gardens and uh, let's go. It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm happy to show you around. See you in a few minutes once we get inside. Welcome to Snoozel Manor. These are the gardens of Snuzzle Manor and we're going to take a walk around and I'll show you all the intricate detail. It's designed in the arts and crafts style. It's a glorious day here today. It's over 30 degrees. It's Friday the 19th of July. It's the height of summer and it's the best day we've had here for some time. the manor behind. It's quite busy here. It wasn't busy at the village but it's busy here. Just dive past these people. Mind how I go. Sundial. And this is the priest's house. This might be where he stayed, I'm not sure. The Latin scholars will be able to read that. Absolutely beautiful little dove cot there, it looks like. Let's see if we can get a better view of the manor house. So this is the manor house that Charles Paget Wade bought, I think about 1909, but I'll put the date in the description. And he set about transforming this house into uh, a splendid, medieval um, manor house and many famous writers literary people came here virginia wolf graham green they all came here to, to uh, be with charles paget wade and soak in the uh, the atmosphere absolutely stunning isn't it Discover models by Charles Wade. Here we go. Little museum of things he collected. So here we are. Mr. Wade's cottage and the priest house. This is where he lived while he was renovating the property. Up here, lovely little door, this is the way out. I'm getting up high so I can show you some of the marvellous buildings. That's known as the Evoco Custodem. And uh, yeah, we just carry on down here.
So as you can see, we're inside this manor house and it's just, from the moment you get here, it's stuffed full of such amazing artifacts, boats, dolls, toys, musical instruments, samurai warrior kits. You're gonna see so much stuff in here. So come with me, let's explore this amazing house together. bit dark today so hopefully you're seeing some of this it's an amazing little place inside the manor house look at that Whoop. didn't realize there was glass there ships guns weapons things he collected from around the world on his travels it's unbelievable it's like a collector's paradise of artifacts 22,000 separate items. It's not so picturesque as here. We don't get the fields and hedges. It used to be. you come from? That company. That's a chair, you're not allowed to sit on. So they put a piece of cheese on the chair, so it would spike your bones if you sit on it, that's their way of saying, you can't actually sit on that chair. Are there any boats in here? What can we see in here? Ah, some samurai armour. Probably can't see anything, but there is definitely hundreds of pieces of samurai armour. But it's very dark, so I don't think you can see any. Let's have a look in this room. There's a bedroom. I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Obviously very interested in the Far East and Japan. This is a bit lighter. Just full of stuff, musical instruments, necklaces, just oriental outfits. Look at that. Mermaid, this room. Dolls. This is called a hundred wheels, and it's got bicycles everywhere. Hundreds of bicycles. Charles Patrick Wayne is a great collector of these kind of things, penny farthings. Like. Wow, more ships. Look at that one there. Absolutely amazing. Little child's prams, I suppose these were. Absolutely stunning. Little room, spinning wheel, obviously where they did their arts and crafts. Look at all that. It's just absolutely magnificent. I don't know what to focus the camera on. See, that's the spinning wheel there. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. More 
things here. Spinning. All those spinning wheels. Unbelievable. It's just called Mizzen, this room. That lovely clock making that noise. Just hoping you're getting some of this. I'm going quite fast because I don't have that much space left. More arts and crafts. Spinning wheels, looms. That's a picture of Charles Wade, Paget Wade. Hopefully you can see that. With his pipe. More weaving equipment. Is a silk walking mill, and the silk is taken off the bobbins, and then by turning samurai suits on. Like in size, yeah. but reduced in size, much smaller. It's in obviously it's in Latin. It's all hand, um, all done by hand. Seraphim. Again, it's a bit dark, so you may not see much. Lots of oriental masks from Japan. Absolutely unbelievable. So this is the end of our tour of Snowzill Manor and Gardens. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've managed to capture some of the beauty of the gardens and the eccentric collections of items in the house that we see in front of us. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll bring you another video from the Cotswolds very soon. I can't guarantee it'll be as sunny as it is today, but thanks again for watching. All the very best. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. And I'll see you again very soon.